Hello friends, a very warm welcome to all of you. I am your friend Vikas Bhardwaj and you are welcome to Ansarkari. So in the series of taking up incredible Indians, today we are focusing upon Dr. Soumya Swaminathan. Yes, you heard it right. She has been a legendary and a pioneer leader in healthcare sector, not only at the national level, but also at the international level. Dr. Swaminathan, she has been appointed as a chief scientist at WHO and she has been appointed at that position in March 2019. So you can say a path breaking leadership role have been given to Dr. Swaminathan. And what is more incredible is that this post has been created recently or you may say for the first time in order to bring and affect the changes in the healthcare system all across the world. It was in 2017 that for the first time when she was elected as Deputy Director General at WHO, you can say that a very pride and a glorious moment came up for India. In her own words, she believed that it is the voice of India now which will be heard much more effectively and clearly. A globally recognized researcher on tuberculosis and HIV and she is having more than 30 years of experience in clinical care and she has been involved with Inter in international Indian bodies like ICMR and various other advisory bodies. Her work profile and the goal showcases that she has been a very, very affectionate and a very clear minded personality which is bringing more innovation in her ideas. For example, she believes in bringing evidence into health policy making. That means all principles will be focused upon, all ideas will be heard, ready for criticism also, but then everything must be on scientific ideas. She is very polite and firm in her ideas, promoting and forging even South-South partnership in health sciences. That means all developing countries, they must have an efficient and effective healthcare system by which not only deaths must be prevented, but life must also be given certain dignity. That is how she served as a coordinator of UNICEF, UNDP, World Bank, WHO, Special Program and so on at Geneva. Most importantly, in training in tropical diseases. Dr. Swaminathan has capacity to bring different departments together. Different bodies and different departments will be coming over at one platform and that's how she will be bringing the best out of them. That means she go beyond her call of duty and she believes in putting the best across. That's how she has been uh, pub she has been able to publish more than 350 peer reviewed publications and book chapters. She has been elected as a foreign fellow of the US National Academy of Medicine and follow of all three academies in India. And apart from WHO, as I just said, she has been part of many expert panels and and bodies where global strategy and planning for public health, innovation, intellectual properties, strategic and technical advisory ideas she has been putting forward. That means she believes that India must also bring more innovation on the table. She believes that India is having a great traditional knowledge which India have converted into digital library also that is what is known as TKDL and India's traditional knowledge must be converted into effective and affordable medicines. India is a leader in generic drugs but she wants not only startups but also entrepreneurs they must come forward and they must devise they must create affordable devices and affordable healthcare facilities. There, that's why there will be the role of WHO also. She believes that there must be validation, then testing, validation, testing, feasibility, and finally approval by WHO of different drugs and programs. That means access to medicines and diagnostics, whether it is tuberculosis, whether it is HIV, whether it is cancer, and even antimicrobial care. That is what antimicrobial resistance, that is one of the most core areas which she believes must be focused upon. She holds an MBBS degree from Armed Forces Medical College and then after that she got MD from All India Institute of Medical Sciences, daughter of Dr. M.S. Swaminathan, who is father of Green Revolution in India. And in her studies further, she went to do postdoctoral from the US and she has backed many awards in medicine so far. 
but that doesn't mean that she is always into books and always looking for uh, making contribution to the healthcare sector and leadership but she also loves nature she loves cycling whenever she is in geneva that is wh headquarters she believes in morning walks especially she is not missing her morning walks in delhi she likes to go to forest or hill resorts in order to rejuvenate herself she loves carnatic music jazz and hindustani classical music also and she loves watching plays especially classics by girish karnad so that showcases that any successful personality is not just about bringing herself or himself into the world of his passion that person also have a kind of a hobby which keeps that person a very pleasant happy and more more importantly a very realist and optimistic person so she has been in news because recently she went on to put forward that data is key to control covid 19 pandemic and she believes that lockdown alone is not effective unless combined with other healthcare measures that means that who also she believes that there must be synergy among different departments she believes that whether it is human resource department which must uh, bring capacity building and also promotion on a stable there must not be any kind of duplication she also believes that technical aspect and the departments which are doing that job they must be doing it in such a way that it must bring best out of it especially for the developing world so who's technical department and the clusters she is bringing innovations and ideas onto it and apart from that she had experience of working in unicef or even undp all the, those ideas are also helping her to bring the best for india and rest of the world that means dr swaminathan remains a pioneer and a legend in the field that is why india especially after post covid 19 scenario must be looking forward to increasing its understanding capacity and also its leadership in the healthcare sector across the world and not just among developing countries keep liking and sharing our channel because we believe in the best we would like to put forward honest frank and meaningful ideas always remember that there are no shortcuts it may take time but finally real potential can always be unlocked thank you very much see you soon wishing you all the best for your studies